Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. How was your weekend? Oh, it was very nice. <laughs> it was very nice. And what did you do? With my training. Tomorrow you start your training. Yes. <laughs> hey, what happened with La Uca? Ah, uh, because it was for a month only. The month passed? No, because it was for 15 days. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, okay. And so you were you were actually covering for somebody. Mm -hmm. Yes. For the vacation. Oh, okay. So tomorrow's your first day of training. Yeah. At concentric. Okay. Okay. And what time is the training from eight to five? From six AM to two PM. Wow. That's <laughs> I will long. leave home very early. <laughs> yes, that's true. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I have to hear this. Hello, Susana. You're in mute. Sorry. Hey, Hi, she's, back. You? she's back. Listen. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> wow, your voice sounds much, much better now. Yeah, thank you. Uh, a lot of medicine, but I'm back on track. <laughs> yeah, you sound better and you look better. Thank you. Thank you. I'm right. feeling bad. How was your weekend? Uh good. I was in bed, <laughs> but everything okay. I was uh, I was resting, but now I had uh, I have to go to to my work today, so I don't know. I'm just trying not to uh, get some uh, tired. Yeah. No, okay, that's good. All right, what about you, Edgar? How are you? So far, so good, teacher. What about you? I'm good. How was your weekend? Uh, it was a little tired. <laughs> I was busy. My dad got a surgery oh, man. in the Bautista Hospital, and I've been there for four days. Bautista Take Hospital me. is in Santa Ana, no? No, it's in San Salvador. Oh, okay. There, there are one. Yeah. Where is it? I remember about this. Also. It's close to um, Hospital Rosales, like one block. Oh, yes. Okay. Is your father okay? Mm, it's, he's not okay. They He had a big surgery. Uh, he, he had he had he had cancer. Uh, we have to take care of him. Yeah. Yeah, because he's a little complicated. My dad is 78 years old. Oh, okay. And that is a big surgery. Oh, of course. I yeah. Believe me, I definitely understand. Yeah, thank um, you very much. And, um, but is he back home now or he's still in the hospital? No, he's still in the hospital. My brother uh, went to the hospital today, and then and then I come back to my home. He's taking care of him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're taking turns. Yeah, we are taking turns. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, I hope everything is better. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, what about you, Nidia? How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How was your weekend? I worked a weekend. Every week. In the Saturday and the month, the Sunday. Oh, man. Yes. When is your uh, day off? Yes. Uh, oh, today I had, I had a day off. Today? Yes, today. Oh. Okay. I stay at home. 
<laughs> so your children went to school, your husband went to work. Yes, my children at uh, the school uh, in the afternoon. So that's good. You really rested because. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's one good thing about resting in the week. Yeah. Uh, Yep. So Irma, Irma, what account are you going to tomorrow? I'm going to GAP account. And, okay. do, and do you know what it is? Is it sales, customer care? Customer, customer service about, about delivery items. Mm -hmm. It's with GAP. No sales, no for now. <laughs> only yes. customer service do you know technically how call centers work um i little idea i have but i i i don't have clear okay look it depends on you mm -hmm. but what kind of person are you because if you are a very passive person, customer care is good. Oh. But because you will receive a lot of angry people. <laughs> That's the problem with customer care. But I consider that I, ha I have... But yeah... What I'm telling you, and I think the most difficult is sales. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend you to go to sales in this moment. First, learn the business mm -hmm. and then go to sales because sales, you have to be very good. You have to have that sales power. Yes. And I have to, I have to get a, good language uh, skills because I have to to speak fluent and fast. Mm -hmm. I, let me see, I would really recommend you to when you practice tomorrow, recommend you when you don't understand, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to ask again. Excuse oh. me, can you repeat? Excuse me, did you say did you say Catherine with a T S and Tom or P S and Peter? You know, use that. Really use that because mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for the recommendation. Mm -hmm. I will do. I would, you know, I am the type of person that I the only problem about sales. Is that you have metrics. Yeah. Yes, sales, they make more money. Mm -hmm. You see many people say, oh man, but I love that. sales, they make a lot of money. Yes, mm -hmm. but they have a lot of pressure. You are right. Um, because I was at I Love Academy in at Concentrix and they explained that, that the metrics are very high. Yes, they are doable because it, it doesn't, it's not only necessarily that you speak good English, it's that if you have cells in you. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, I consider that I have to learn about the product first. Uh -huh. But I think it's good that you're going to customer care. All, all, all um, customer care, you will just receive a lot of angry people. <laughs> yes. What I really, but, really hate is tech support. Oh yes, tech support. I like tech well, support, right. but uh, I have to have uh, a lot of pa patience. Yes. In, in tech support, you get a lot of stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I I remember I was in tech support once and oh my god but you know you do understand i mean you know you have to understand but some people really are stupid yeah 
<laughs> because they don't know how how uh, manage or handle an account, for example, or how to log in uh, in Facebook, for example. You, mm -hmm. you know, I remember I had one time this person, I bought this computer from you and it doesn't work. I've been trying to turn it <laughs> on for one hour, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah. And she hadn't connected it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, teacher, yes. I have I have seen a a new in well I I saw the naive um will disappear in Safor. Is it true? Really? No, I haven't seen that. Yes. When did you see that today? Yeah, someone sent that link it's a to the chat. Hmm, interesting. I, I want to watch that. You know, you know, some sometimes when when the news is really big, is it what I like about this country when it's a really really big news. Um, it starts everywhere. For example, yeah, maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. But I, I, I will check it later. But you know how sometimes a YouTubers keep on it bombazo, naive, <laughs> naive, <laughs> amenazado de muerte. Yeah. You know, I mean, those people just want to click. Um, and what I do before I click, I start looking more at more videos. But you know, okay, thank you. Si veo más bastantes amenazas de muerte del presidente, amenaza de muerte del presidente, like in here, here, here. Okay, something serious is happening. <laughs> so, but but um, but I I think if Insaforp is going to disappear, maybe something similar because before it was Fepade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, but thank you for telling me. When we finish the class, I will I will check it out. Okay, okay, thank you. Hello, Joanna. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How was uh, your weekend? Uh, my weekend was uh, on Sunday. I went to the church with my family. Okay. And I visited my mother-in-law. Uh-huh. Only that. Where? Where does your mother-in-law live? Uh, she live in she lives in Apopa. Okay, and you? What about you? Where do you live? I live in Ilopango. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you. Yeah, y lo pongo en la popa y en el futuro no va a ser uno. I don't know. <laughs> Una vez vi un, un, un meme que decía el otro año diré que soy de, yo soy soy a popataneco algo así, soy a popataneco. Uh, soy a pango a popa. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Y lo pongo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. Hi, Laura, what's up? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm sorry, it's a bit late. No, it's okay, no problem. How was your weekend? Fine. Very busy, but try to rest a little. And now, I start a new weekend, a new week. What did you do on the weekend? Uh, we had a uh, start to um, a little emprendimiento. <laughs> Your own business? It's starting uh, a business. I, uh, uh, we had, with my husband, we have started a little business of, of pan, uh, um, bread with chicken. Oh, good. With salt, uh -huh. On Saturday evening. So, In your house? Yeah, uh, well, out, out of the house, in the street. Awesome. And you know that's and how much are they? Two two dollars fifty-five 
275, sorry. Oh, 275. Okay. Hey, good. Awesome. I love, but you know what, um, Laura? It's not chicken with bread. Bread with chicken. How do you, how we say? It's a chicken sandwich. Sorry? It's a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich? Yes. But let, yeah, let, me okay. <laughs> let, let me explain to you why. Okay. If you say, if you say pan con pollo, in El Salvador, we all understand what is a pan con pollo. But if okay. you say that in English, bread with chicken, the visual is bread and chicken, like separate. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and like in, in a chicken, in a live chicken, are you mm -hmm. my... No, 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 tampoco. No, just like, hey, wh wh what did you eat? Oh, some bread with chicken. You know, and, and that's what people think. Oh, she ate bread with chicken. And a sandwich is anything between a bread. Oh, okay. And it doesn't necessarily have to be sandwich bread. It can be anything. Pero si le quiere poner más salsa, le dice a Salvadorian chicken sandwich. And I I made this publicity. Let me see if I can share. share and it and where where do you sell them? Sorry. Where do you sell them? Where? Where 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 is your business? Ah, it's, it's on the street in the principal street of the of the um, neighbor where I live. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Las Cañas. Las Cañas. Where Las is that? Oh man, too far. Where, okay. Was the Carcava? <laughs> I was thinking. I was thinking that if you're maybe in the San Salvador zone, hey, I will go support you. Like, okay, I will go this weekend and buy you some chicken sandwich. But no, somebody. It's, it's far. <laughs> but maybe Joanna can go there because she's close. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe so in the future we can sell by delivery. <laughs> yeah, good. You know the story of sandwich. Do you know the story of sandwich? No. Uh, it was interesting because it was he was a duke, un duque, yeah. and his name was the Duke of Sandwich. And one day, this duke he was really addicted to games. He was rich and he was addicted to games, table games. Do you know what table games are? Table. Poker, dominoes, games that you play on table. Oh, yeah. So one day, the Duke of Sandwich, he, he invited people to his house. And... Everybody was playing. Everybody was having a good time. And it was time to eat. But he didn't want to stop playing to eat because the, the feeling was good. So he asked his people, hey, we want to eat here in the, in the table. And in that time, remember la, la monarquía or whatever. <laughs> It's like, that's impossible, master. You have to eat in, in the in the table. Oh, I see that pan is con chicken. <laughs> pan is con chicken. Hey, that's good. It's catchy. It's catchy, el nombre. It's, it's catchy and atractivo, el, el pan is con chicken. I I took the um, the meme of this guy who say who that don't like the tacos. Do you remember? Oh yeah, the guy who can't speak. Uh -huh. Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, good. That looks good. So, so the sandwich. Is a real picture. 
<laughs> yeah, I see. It's good. I like it. So the Duke of Sandwich, he told his people, look, make me make me food that we can eat on the table. And he says, what? Like what? He says, do we have bread? Yes. Okay. Put some ham between the bread. And tomatoes. He told us, all right. So then that's what they did. So then the people and then they serve the food on the table. And everybody liked the idea because they can eat and play. So the idea was very, very popular and it was called the sandwich. But he invented <laughs> in that moment. Mm -hmm. okay. so, mm -hmm. so, por eso, entonces, por eso es pan con pollo, no, it's a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, now I know. Uh -huh. What supposed to say? Mm -hmm. So if people ask you, oh, what do you sell? Oh, chicken sandwiches, Salvadorian chicken sandwiches. And what is the difference? The bread is bigger. I have a special sauce. <laughs> yes, we put special sauce. We use this. We use, we put onions. We put this. It's good. All right. And who else is online? I don't know if Alejandra Beatriz, is she online? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, there she is. Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi. How was your weekend? Uh, good. Uh, very... Um, no sé, tranquilo. Busy, very busy, productive, or very, chill. very busy. No, 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 very chill. Mm -hmm. Very chill. Why? You didn't do anything, yeah. I guess. No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> But wait, I'm sorry, you're 27, correct? Yes. And I don't know, shouldn't you be out to discotheques on Saturday nights? No, no. That's what I didn't do that thing. <laughs> but that's what people your age should do. <laughs> no. So, yeah, no. but in my case, I don't like. Uh, I like most the meetings with my family or with my close friends and house. Awesome. And, Good to hear. And cook some food, drink some drinks. <laughs> oh, okay. So you like more you're more of, of a reunion type. Yes. Hey. Yeah, me, me too. I remember I hated going to discotheques or bars. I don't like it. Yes, I, I don't like it too. As many noise you can talk. You can't, uh, yes. When you go yes. and, and every bar at night becomes karaoke. Oh man, that's so horrible. People say uh, Hmm? Yes, yes. <laughs> people, some people sing terribly. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm one of that people that sings ter terribly. <laughs> no, but you know, the, but the problem is they always sing the same songs. Women sing Alejandra ah, Guzman. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> And always, yeah, I'm like oh god. I remember one time I went to a karaoke, a famous karaoke here, and um. I sang David Bowie. Do you know David Bowie? Wow. I don't think. Yeah, many people don't. Yes, know. David Bowie. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, let's dance. I'm like, hey, this is cool. And I was happy singing. And everybody was like, shh, shh, shh. Fuera, no. Fuera. Solo un hombre. It, it, was a, huh? it was a FIFA bar. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, they wanted, I guess they wanted Bronco or Vicente Fernandez. I like Bronco. <laughs> oh, I love Bronco. I love Bronco. But yeah, I'm, I understand. I, 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 you know what I do like, but it's very expensive. <laughs> I like going to bars at hotels. Ah, uh, really? Because I like that. that <laughs> I like that silence. And sometimes you have somebody at the, you know, playing piano. You know, it's it's very silent. It's very cool, but the beer is very expensive. It's like four dollars. Oh, that that's why I prefer drinking my house. <laughs> Do you know air supply? Because I because I am I am um, 
tacaña. I am cheap. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheap es barato, cheap. barato y tacaño. Barato y o oh, okay. tacaño. Um, have you ever heard of a group called Air Supply? Yes, Air Supply. Yeah. I like like four or three songs. Oh, I love I all know. their songs. But here's a here's a cool story. One day we went to a wedding of a coworker. Mm -hmm. And um I don't know, I forgot what religion he was. But he had a very expensive wedding, but very boring. Because the the um the event was in a hotel. Mm -hmm. But of course, no beer, no liquor, no music, nothing. It was only dinner. It was a religious party. Yeah, it was very, very religious. But, you know, it's good. I respect that. But, you know, pay so much money and not enjoy that. Okay. So, <laughs> with my friend, you know, yeah, they put in rato. Okay, this is boring. With my friend, we said, hey, let's go to the bar, you know, let's drink a beer or two. So, we went to the bar. And um, it was empty. You know, it was, it was a normal bar. In mm -hmm. the singer of Air Supply was there drinking because the next day was the um the concert. No, but he was just yeah, right, yeah, he was right there drinking a beer, you know, like a normal beer. And it, but this was like 15 20 years ago, maybe it was a long time, it was the last time they came. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was very young, I told him, Are you the singer from Air Supply? He says, Why? Do I look like him? Yes. And I told him, but he's taller. What do you mean? <laughs> but we, we were playing, and but he was very nice. I spoke with him. Mm -hmm. I didn't know our play uh, came. came to El Salvador. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. they did. I went to the concert then. He gave me tickets. No. Yes. Qué fuerte. <laughs> And they're coming, I think, this year or next year. I think they're going to come. Mm. Class, I think you know Air Supply. Maybe you don't remember. Have you heard that song? I know just how to whisper. And I know just how mm, to lie. Making love. <laughs> yes. And I'm never going to tell you. I know just how to lie. Yeah, man, they're okay. good. <laughs> Alejandra, there's a concert from them. You should read it. It's called it's, Se llama Air Supply Love Letters, I think. It's it's recent. It was after the COVID. Uh, really? It's in YouTube. It's in YouTube. Watch it. It's very good. They sing all their classic songs. It was very nice. I will search. Yeah. Okay, class. So listen. Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Right, sure. Let's do the listening part. Hey, so now you understand where uh, sandwich came from, right? Yeah. Do you know where hamburgers come from? The no. name of hamburger. You explain us. Came from Hamburg, Germany. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Interesting. No, and you know, you know, the reason was because the the sailors, they were very dirty and cheap people. Mm -hmm. uh, so when they would come and leave their boats in America, mm -hmm. they didn't buy food. So they bring their own food and they used to cook their food in the engine. Oh, uh, what? Sorry. And the engine, in the motor del barco, oh, the right. engine. You know, like that's where they cook the meat. And then they put the meat between the bread with tomatoes mm -hmm. and everything. Y alguien dijo, hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> and they put Hamburg. But they were, they actually came from, the sailors were from Hamburg, Germany. <laughs> uh -huh, so. But you know the other person says, you know, hey, I'm gonna redonda, you know, they put a little more of their, you know, but 
That's where they got the idea. A, put meat on the grill. And that's where hamburger came from. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. You know what's very interesting? The ice cream cone. Uh-huh. The ice cream cone, it was in a fair. There was a person that sold, was selling ice cream, just ice cream. And the person next to him sold waffles. So the per it was very hot that day. And the person that was selling ice cream, he finished all his ice cream. No, he finished all the plates. Uh -huh. And he says, oh, my God, what do I do? What do I do? And the person next to him told him, why don't you put it in a waffle? So at the beginning, at the beginning, he started putting the ice cream on the top of the waffle. Huh. But then they invented, hey, let's make the waffle thinner in Riemo, you know. And then that's where the cone, they invented the cone from a waffle. That was a brilliant idea. It was, oh, look at it now. But no lo patentaron. <laughs> yeah, so too bad. It's like the poor, poor lady that I told you about, about the buffalo wings, remember? Oh, yeah. I do remember. Yeah, poor woman. She would have been a billionaire now. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so let's listen to the listening part. So listen, instructions. Listen to the conversation. Check. Zero with the correct answers, okay? So we're going to hear about Clara. Okay, so one thing I recommend you, class, when you're going to do a listening or a reading, or I, I always do this. I always read the questions first. Because that way, when I'm doing the listening, I have an idea. So for example, Clara tells Augusto. So we know that there's going to be a Clara talking with Augusto in, in the listening. We know there's going to be Tina is going to complain about something. Yes. So imagine we're going to do the listening. In the entrada, ya sabemos que va a haber Clara and Augusto are talking, and Tina is angry. <laughs> All right, let's do the, the listening. All right. I don't think this is the right restaurant, Augusto. Did you hear it? Can you hear it? Yes, we can. Okay, I'm going to start over. I don't think this is the right restaurant, Augusto. It doesn't look very good. I'm sure this is the one. I know it doesn't look great, but the menu looks interesting. But look, that waiter's wearing a horrible shirt. Clara, maybe he likes bright colors. I don't mean the colors. There's a huge tear in it, and it doesn't look clean. Yeah. Actually, I see what you mean. And look at this tablecloth. It's badly stained. It looks like someone spilled coffee all over it. And my glass is chipped. I could cut myself. Let's get out of here. Four. Hello? Hello, Mr. Jones. This is Tina, the new tenant in 2C. Um... The refrigerator makes a loud noise, and it keeps leaking all over the floor. And another thing, the whole apartment needs to be repainted. I don't understand. You didn't point out any of this when you looked at the apartment last week. Well, I didn't notice the refrigerator then because I hadn't turned it on. But I thought you said you would paint the entire apartment before I moved in. Yes, okay. I'll come over right now. So what did what does Clara tell us Augusto? The waiter's shirt is ugly. Okay. What is one of Tina's complaint to her landlord is that the fridge leaks. 
Do you understand what leak is? Yes, chef. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning? Okay, leak. Don't say it, class. If you know it in Spanish, don't say the word. Okay. I, I need you to. Okay, Joanna, can you explain to Irma what a leak is? But use your ability to try to explain. Sorry, teacher. Can you explain to Irma what a leak is? No Spanish and explain okay. to her in a sentence or two or three, whatever you need. So when you explain, try to use an example. Mm. I don't know, teacher. I don't know. Explain. Explain. Yes, you do. I'm going to help you. So next time you know how to explain. Irma, you know sometimes when it's raining mm -hmm. in your house and when it stops raining and you look at the roof and you see water um, and you say, oh man, I leak. have a leak. Oh, leak. But it's like little drops water. Yes, it's a little scape. <laughs> Oh. Water escaping. It can be on the roof. It can be on a refrigerator. It can be on a toilet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I, I understand the, yes. the word. Thank y la peor de todas, cuando es tubería de casa. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, because there you have to break everything in the house. Yes. <laughs> huh. Okay, so that is a leak. Yeah. All right, so listening to, it says instructions. Listen to the conversations, choose the correct answer. So to stop depleting the ozone layer, Bob recommends. Sonia, Sonia is upset because, do you know what upset is? Disappointed. No, I think disappointed is a little more extreme. Upset it's is like that. Hmm? It's like that. Angry. <clears throat> yeah, yes, it's like, yes, angry. But a little angry. Right. Like formal angry. Upset is molesto. All right. But, um, pero por qué no tiene mucha importancia? Like, imagine you went to a Luis Miguel con concert. And you say, hey, how was the concert? It was good, but I was a little upset because he did not sing Incondicional. O sea, uno puede decir, fue, estuvo buenísimo, pero me molestó un poco que no cantó la Incondicional, whatever. So it's, it's, no, it's not like dramatical, okay? All right. So, and también... Upset is like you say, uh oh, I have an upset stomach. Hmm. So you ate something, and then you know when your stomach is blah, 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 your mm -hmm. stomach is upset. <laughs> Revolution. Yes. And you know, you say, you know what? I have to cancel. I'm not going to go to the movies tonight. Why? Because I have an upset stomach. Oh, interesting. Take yeah. alka a day. <laughs> yeah, or pet of a small. Or Mallox. Mallox. Tom's. I like Tom's. Okay, let's hear now. One, are you going to buy that can of hairspray? All right, good. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one thing, listen. What is depleting the ozone layer? Depleting is like to destroy.
I have an idea how to destroy one thing. It's right there, look. Oh, okay. Agotando, right? So listen, it says to stop depleting the ozone layer. You know the ozone layer, correct? Yes, I do. Bob recommends, etc. Um, usually these are these people are activists. It's like is somebody here a vegan? Alguien que vegano? No. I would no. like to be. Maybe a vegetarian, but a vegan, I think that's difficult. Mm, yeah. Say, so, like, what that do you eat? Yeah. <laughs> Grass. <laughs> yes, that's all you eat. And you know, I was I was watching an interview that actually vegans are really destroying the world. Hey, do you want to because for example, they drink almond milk or almonds or this or semilla de cat. And they were telling them because you know vegans say we don't eat anything that comes from an animal because we believe in animals life, etc. Yeah. But to make yeah. the seeds, semillas or the milk for vegans, they have to put a lot of fertilizers on the crops and and that's mm. killing a lot of bees hmm. Las abejas. it kills millions and millions of bees and they say that the animal that we need more in light in, in the world are bees are bees yeah. hmm. okay so let's continue listening to this one are you going to buy that can of hairspray? Uh, yeah, Bob, I am. Why? Because those spray cans contain CFCs, which deplete the ozone layer. What does that mean? Well, many scientists think global warming is caused by the destruction of the ozone layer, and that the increase in skin cancer is due to the reduction in ozone. Spray cans cause all that? You must be joking. No, I'm serious. Not using spray cans is just one thing you can do. Another way to preserve the ozone layer is to plant trees. But the best way is to cut down on air pollution by reducing the number of cars. Well, why don't you spend your energy encouraging people to use public transportation instead? Don't worry. I'm working on that, too. Two. You know, I get so tired of being told not to use my car. I just saw a TV show about global warming, and this man said that people who have cars are selfish. Well, many problems have been caused by pollution from heavy traffic. Yes, but what am I supposed to do? There's only one bus a day to the city where I work, and it leaves at noon. I have to be at work early in the morning. I know how you feel, Sonia, but one thing to do about it is to live closer to where you work. What? Live in all that pollution? No thanks. Three. I hate my job. I think I need to go back to school. Good for you, Lynn. What do you want to study? Well, I can't decide between environmental science and nutritional science. Well, would you prefer to work on the environment or specialize in diet and health when you graduate? I'm worried about how environmental problems affect people's health. For example, chemicals are being pumped into the river near where I live. I'm sure the fish farms are being contaminated by chemicals. Sounds like environmental science is for you. Four. Tom, did you see what's being offered this summer? I'm thinking about registering for a class. Yeah, I've already registered. I'm taking astronomy. Hey, why don't you join me, Sally? It'll be fun. Well, I'd prefer to take something more useful. I was considering either auto repair or exercise science. You know, a better way to learn about auto repair is by studying car repair manuals. 
You can check them out of the library instead of spending money on a class. Yeah, I could try that first. So then I think I'll register for the exercise science class. I've always wanted to learn about fitness. Okay, so to stop depleting the ozone layer, Bob recommends... Reducing pollution. Reducing pollution. You know, that's one thing about the government, not the, what this government, the previous government, and the previous, all the governments that have existed, mm -hmm. out of the least one, el que menos veo es el de ambiente, medio ambiente. Mm. I, I really no, don't see them fire. acting because, you know, like sometimes you see the buses. Mm hmm you know, like when they throw all that black smoke. Yeah. And that's something so simple for a police to stop them and take that bus. And say, excuse me, you cannot circle with this bus here. The environmental, Ministry of Environmental is, you know. You know, it's some. It's it's not something difficult. It's very easy to see a bus throwing black smoke. You simplemente just go. Hey, I need to take your your bus. No, but okay. No, you know, it's throwing black smoke. I do remember once they they were doing that. They were taking off the uh, these buses that were making uh, pollution. Yeah, I yeah I think that's a very very good idea. Also, um, the mechanics. No, no talleres, man. Okay, it's good. I'm happy for you. Good to have your 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 car shop. As you say, I'm a taller car shop. But I've seen I've seen mechanics. The que el aceite, the, the oil, they just go in, in the corner. They drop it on the streets. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. that, that's, <clears throat> not, that's not good. Or, you know, like, um, in my opinion, in my opinion, water in El Salvador is very cheap. I pay, I pay, I think four or five dollars to Anda every month. And I have water 24 hours a day. I know that some people don't have water. I do understand that. But I have a neighbor. I have a neighbor. I don't know why, but like every two days. She throws water in the street for 30 minutes. Shh. For no reason. Yo a veces, porque una señora, y a veces hablo con ella así como he metido, you know, like, mire cuánto, cuánto tiempo pasa ahí. Ah, es que mucho calor para que se caliente en la calle, se enfríe en la calle. I don't know, they just get like some stupid, como, está lavando la calle, vecina. Sí. <laughs> Es que no sé qué indirecta darle, pero like, sí, mucho calor, ¿verdad? Sí, like 30 minutes. There, there's a bunch of people doing that. Yes. Here where I live, there's a lot of people who, who does that on the afternoon. Do you know that in California, mm. the water company, they call you or they send mm -hmm. you an email. You are exceeding your, your water limit. For real? So you can use all the water you want. That's no mm -hmm. problem. But they usually give you a limit. And if you exceed that limit, then you will pay the triple or quadruple of everything from that. It's like that's like your telephone. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's good though. It's very good. That's why many people 
in California, they don't they don't have gardens anymore. Ya no tienen jardines, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so. But yeah, I deal. And so what I'm saying is like, yes, you do see some difference with the governments, but el de, el de medio ambiente es el que menos. But you know, one thing I, I do like is um. I remember, I think it was like one month ago, when was the gay parade? Un día de orgullo gay, I think it was. Well, I remember it was on a Sunday or, or Saturday. I know it was on a Saturday. And um, the march started like in the Nacional. Walking down, down, down to like Salvador del Mundo. Man, those people were dirty. They were very, very dirty. Like they were leaving a lot of garbage in the street. But behind them, venían los de la basura, you know, cleaning. Which was very good. But the problem was that the people there, they were offended. ¿Por qué no andan siguiendo los de la basura? It's like, oh, God, man, nunca se va a poder. It's people. Okay, now, why is Sonia upset? People say she's selfish. Good. Do you know what selfish is, Joanna? Yes, teacher. Okay. Usually, baby, little children are, are selfish, right? Yes. <laughs> With their mothers. My mother, my mother. <laughs> okay, next it says, Lynn is most interested in how? Pollution causes health problems. Pollution causes health problems, yes. Number four, Sally is going to take a, uh, take a course in? Exercise, Exercise science. Exercise science. All right, we got them all? Yeah. Okay, here, complete the sentences. Instructions, complete the sentences using another form of the word in brackets. So these glasses have a scratch on the lens. They are? They are scratched. Scratched. Good. My new car is dented. It has a dent. There is a small leak in the aquarium. It is? Sorry, teacher. Dance with that. E. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Mm. Why the hell? What is dint? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a small leak in the aquarium. It is? Leaking. Leaking. Awesome. Look at the crack in that wall. It is crack. 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 Oops. Did you ever see a video? It was scary. It was some people in an airplane and they were recording inside the airplane. They were recording from the little window that they were putting on the on the um they were actually fixing one one part of the uh of the uh, airplane and they were putting duct tape before before the plane took off imagine that was scary This dress is stained. There are several bad stains. stains. 
stains on it. So what is stain? Can you have stain on your clothes? Yes. Can you have stain yes. on your skin? Yes. 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 Okay, good. You know, sometimes you go, hey, doctor, I have a problem. What? I have some new stains on my on my face. In my face, I have stains. Hmm. Usually, usually when you have stains in your face, I think it's um it's a type of um ¿Cómo se llama? Medicine, no, yeah. es? Falta de vitamins. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Those towels are so dirty. They're, they need, need washing. washing. They need washing. Good. The wastebasket is in your bedroom. Uh, the wastebasket in your bedroom is full. It needs, needs to be empty. Need needs to be emptied good because it's in past the grass in the front yard looks extremely dry it needs water. Water. Watering. Water. Watering. Watering. watering 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 you know do you know that's one beautiful thing about english that any word can be a verb like imagine water watering yeah. Jean Claude Van Damme. It's a verb. You can say, hey man, shut up or I'm going to Van Damme you. Oh. Uh -huh. I never heard of it. Yeah, you, you can use anything. Hey, shut up or I'm going to Jackie Chan you. <laughs> yeah, so you get the idea. It's like, why? What? What does Jackie Chan do? Oh, he's a karate. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do to you. Yeah, I'm going to Jackie Chan you. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The microwave oven is broken. It needs to be replaced. It needs to be replaced. I don't know why I put it in capital. Okay. Part three, it says instructions. Complete the conversation with rather or prefer. Would you blank learn the drums or the piano? Rather. Would you rather? Would you rather? Rather. rather. Good. There's the no two, right? There's no two. Good. Will well I not play the drums? One day. Hmm? I prefer. I prefer. prefer. Oops. Oh. Well, I prefer not to play the drums. One day I like to join a jazz band, so I guess. I prefer, prefer, prefer to find a good piano teacher. How about you? I think I'd rather, I'd rather not learn either instrument. I want to be a singer. We passed. <laughs> okay, class. So listen, tomorrow we'll complete this so we can start lesson four. And by Wednesday, maybe we finish everything. Okay. 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 So thank you very, very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful thank night. You. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I hope the best for your father, Edgar. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher.